Hi, welcome to a short video which discusses the assign attributes policy of the API management product of the Gravity platform. So assign attributes is used to set variables such as request attributes and other context attributes which can be used in other policies downstream. So for example, dynamic routing. So you can set context specific attributes which can be used later to determine how to act and how you can have different workflows for the values of those attributes. So let's go into a short demonstration. So we're gonna hit the Gravity platform and this kind of builds on our um, video one which sets up the demo. So if you went through that, then you'll know that we've got um, two um, plans which are built on the Acme Travel API. So we've got a API key plan, which basically means that people that subscribe to it have got to provide an API key. And we've got a free plan, which means that they, it's um, keyless and they can access the API. And just to show you, we've got the Postman um, demo environment set up here. So you've got at me travel get. So you've got the send working here, which gets the attributes. And that one's the same one, but this time without an API key. And that's working as well. OK, cool. So now what we're going to do is that for each of these two um, flows, we're going to add a, a um, assign attributes policy. So let's go for that and let's just drag and drop that policy in and what you can see that it's there and you've got below you've got the um, configuration and on the right hand side you've got the documentation as well which comes up automatically so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new attribute let's call that attribute um, api type because it's got a different api type and so api type and let's call that um, paid. Okay, let's save that. Perfect. Now let's go for this one and also add assign attributes there. But because it's the free policy, let's add the word free. So we can do API type and let's call it free. Okay, cool. Let's just save that off now. So what we've done there is that we've basically assigned an attribute for different flows. So depending on how you're hitting um, that API, you've got an, a context specific attribute associated with those flows now. So let's add another API flow here. Um, so those are for the um, plans, but now this is on the API itself. And let's add a transform header the transform header policy we'll talk in more detail about in another video but this allows you to add a header when um, and it's on the response flow and it basically we we're going to use it to take that contact specific attribute and return it in the response such that we can see it being pulled through when the api gets hit so now what we're going to do is that we're going to um, configure this policy and we're going to say let's add a new header here which is called api type header and let's give it the now this is using a particular type of um, language so free marker to actually um, build this context attribute so you, it's returned properly and we're going to use api type so it's basically saying pick up from the context, um, pick out an attribute and the attribute name that I want you to grab is called API underscore type. Exactly what we configured in the assign attributes policy. Okay, so let's save that off now and let's deploy our API. Okay, so that should be deployed now. So now if we head over to Postman, and what we'll see previously, so this was when I just previously tested the free API, you'll see that the headers at the moment are, don't contain any headers. The, the, the header that we configured here was called API type header, API type header. 
At the moment it doesn't, so it's got nine headers and API type is not one of them. So let's try to hit that again um, there. And you can see there's 10 now and API type. And because we've hit this particular call, the, the call that's come back has the value three there. So now let's head over to this one. Let's hit it again. And this one should have an API type here paid. And that's exactly what's happening. Depending on where you're hitting, uh, which, which API you're hitting, you're now getting a context specific attribute back in the header, which tells you what type of API it is. Now, this is a very basic example, but it's a great way of demonstrating how quickly you can add context specific attributes and then subsequently use them in downstream policies. And that concludes it. So what we'll do is um, hopefully it's um, straightforward to have a play. Um, do reach out if you want some more information on how to use values in context specific attributes. Um, and I'll see you on the next policy video. Thank you. Bye.